Scene one, take one. From the land of swimming pools and movie stars, it's Harrison. Harrison does Hollywood. Back in the 1960s, well, there was Star Trek. And before Star Trek, what was there? Well, it was called Lost in Space. Danger! And this, believe it or not, was the first time that this evil, nefarious Dr. Smith, well, let's face it, he became the first intergalactic queen. Yet nobody's ever talked about it. So we got a hold of June Lockhart, who's that ubiquitous mother and everything from Lassie to whatever, and had her, for the first time, get candid about Dr. Smith. You were Mrs. Robinson in Lost in Space. Yes, we love doing that show. As a matter of fact, of course, that's just come out on DVD now, too, you know. All the first the, season. The first season, and it's a great success. And uh, I have uh, wonderful, affectionate feelings about that show. Today, when you watch Lost in Space, Dr. Smith is, I mean, it just doesn't get gayer than that. That's right. Okay. <laughs> back, back in and with the little boy <laughs> in space behind the rocks. I mean, I think that they, I don't think they could do that as broadly today as they got away with then. But it was funny. I mean, you, didn't you guys laugh when you, when you saw these things? <laughs> yes, we didn't walk around with a ba bag over our heads, you know. Oh, thank heavens. Not everybody's in this ridiculous position and condition. Now, what has happened to these? <laughs> And what do you think June Lockhart's favorite Nellie Dr. Smith episode was? Oh, the Vegetable Rebellion. If I'm not mistaken, it was a guy dressed as a carrot, wasn't he? That was um, Stanley Adams. And of course, Jonathan was a celery in that. And Guy and I and Mark Goddard and Angela Cartwright laughed so much all through the shooting of it that, um... Willoughby, you're gonna have to stop nibbling on Dr. Smith. Moisture! Moisture! I need moisture! Guy and I were written out of the next two episodes by Irwin Allen as discipline at full salary because we had contracts. Now, Jonathan Harris, also known as Dr. Smith, wasn't he like one of the first queens in space? <laughs> he was the same on as off. Yes. And would be the first to tell you. Uh, oh! Nixus. Your king has a very delicate back. Oh! The pain, the pain. Somebody once said to him, uh, Jonathan, are you British? And he said, oh no, dear boy, I'm just affected. That does not compute. You computerized cloud jabbering Judas. Bumbling bird brain. Tackling cars. Mental midget. Blithering bumpkin. It is Dr. Smith who is a bubble-headed booby. Harrison does Hollywood. Oh, my.